there's a little backboard you can use around the hole. But Moria doesn't need it. Still under par for the outward nine. Yeah, did she get all of it? It didn't look that way. So we're just going to have to wait and see whether that got wet or not. The contact wasn't good at all. And the way she's looking at the lines here and the fact that the caddy's got another golf ball in his hand gives you the answer. Had two attempts at a second shot, you could say. The easiest pitch, opting to throw it all the way back there. Uh, did so very nicely. This is big sister Mo, who is really going to walk away from the tent with no fond memories. It's not often you hold a good part for double bogey. Good shot. That is good. That is very good. And it's getting better and better. Oh, go on. Let's jump ahead. Moria's made a mess of this, really, even though she's putting for birdie. It's going to be from 30 feet or so and that one for par hang on hang on oh boy Ooh, this is minimizing the damage now well it's not overstating things to say that she is potentially costing herself the chance of winning this golf tournament right here well that's good Boy, this is really disastrous in terms of her aspirations of winning the title. For a very disappointing seven. Two double bogeys on the back nine. Third foot. Moria up ahead at 18. Things have just gone up a notch. Have they what? <laughs> and up ahead at the green to reward a near perfect pitch for Moria Jutanagan. Now it's going to be a final birdie, but not the back nine that she was striving for today. Two double bogeys on the way in. I think that might have put her chances to bed.